All right, so guys, I need you to listen. I need you to pay attention to this because um, just to make sure you understand everything that needs to be done. And so you don't have questions. The first thing that I do want to look at is I want to go over the rubric. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make this bigger real quick for you guys. All right, so again, the first thing that I stressed with this, that all, all these categories are scored from 20 all the way down to zero. First thing I look at is, was your catapult on time? Meaning you had everything done what you're supposed to and you brought it in. If you did that, it was 10 points automatically. If you didn't bring it in, well, that's zero out of 10 there. Now. The next part I'm looking for is your calculations. And to get a 20 on the calculations, here's what you need to have. You need to have the XY tables. Okay, you need the XY table for 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and for 60 degrees. And you need to fill out the XY table like we did in class with those problems. Okay, I am interested in you filling out time, delta x, and delta y. I know it says vx up here, do not worry about that. I'm not gonna have you do that. So you need to have all of this work shown. You need to calculate max height. Okay, the maximum height that this thing goes. You need the range. And when you show your work, the first thing you need to have is you need to have the equation, okay, untouched. The equation as you know it in class. Then, guys, you need to show the manipulation algebraically. Move the equation around to solve for the variable we need. Then you'll plug in your values and the answers. Okay, then you'll take one of your distances, and if you don't remember how far it went, I can help you out and give you your value. And then you're just solving for the time that it takes and delta y. So to get a 20, you got to have all that. It needs to be evident. All right. Now, moving down. All right. So a 15. So to get a 15, on the other hand, you have everything that's asked, but one of your calculations might be done incorrectly. Okay, or you might be missing one of these parts. So we. All right. So the fifteen. Okay, you might have a few calculations done incorrectly, or one or two of the parts may be missing. A ten. You're missing three or more parts. A lot of, you're starting to get a lot of errors in your math. Okay? And then five, a lot of errors, missing parts. And zero, you're missing the calculations entirely. If you have any questions on your calculations, guys, talk to me. I'll take a look at And we can see if things need work. All right, the next part is the questions. All right, to get a 20, you need to thoroughly address the prop, and you need to show a complete understanding of the physics. All right, and all questions are answered to the best of your ability. All right, a 15, you do answer all the questions, but you, your thoughts might be incomplete, you're missing something, okay, you're missing the big idea but you're at least making an attempt, all right? And it, it goes down progressively each time to <laughs> zero. You're not even turning it in, okay? And then your written reflection is gonna be either a 20, a 10, or a zero. The written reflection fully explains to me everybody's roles in the group. It explains to me how did you work as a team? Who did what? Who was responsible for? certain things, okay? What, what went well, what did not go well, and 
any kind of changes and modifications you would like to make for this to help me out with this project moving forward. All right, so to get 20, you answer that all completely. No grammar errors, okay, no spelling errors. Okay, it's typed, it's nice, okay. A 10, you don't really thoroughly explain things and you might have a few spelling and grammar errors. And then zero, uh, numerous grammar and spelling errors, you don't really answer the prompt or it's just missing entirely. Now, how many of you have looked at the Google Classroom to see the questions? Has anyone checked that out yet? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. My hand's up. Yeah, so just Parker's the only one who's checked this out. Anyone else? So we're gonna go, I'm gonna go through these now, um, and I'm gonna clarify just to make sure that you guys understand everything. All right, now, just know not everybody needs to do this, okay? One person is gonna submit this to the classroom. The rest of you in the group just say that you did it, okay? Just mark done. Don't attach anything, just mark done. The person who submits it needs to have everybody's name on it. So question one. All right, how and why does changing the angle of the arm of the catapult affect the distance traveled? Okay, and how is this gonna affect the max height that this object travels? Okay, include a sample calculation. Okay, so this is where you are going to create, okay, you're gonna take from your calculations and show me, like here's what a 30 was, a 45 and a 60, okay? The math is helping you to justify your response. Also guys, consider trigonometric identities and properties in your responses, okay? Think about, this was a question on your test that you had, okay? Think about how does the angle affect everything, okay? You guys remember that cannon question, right? You had the uh, cannon on a uh, cliff that was launched horizontally, you had a cannon that was at an angle on the ground, and a cannon that was on a cliff at an angle, okay? So think about that problem, and think about the max height equation, notice that it's sine, Okay, so think about how the components, the X and Y components, are going to affect that distance traveled and the max height. All right, two, why does an object reach its maximum range at 45 degrees? Is this true when air resistance is factored in? Again, you can use math to help justify your response. And three, if you recall, I said that at 30 degrees, the ball traveled 25 yards, at 45, it traveled 30 yards. At 60 degrees, it traveled 20 yards. Why are my calculated displacements incorrect? Okay, what factors could have caused the discrepancy compared to what you calculated versus what I originally told you? All right, and what would need to be changed to get these displacements that I came up with? Okay, but also think about factors like with air resistance as well, okay? So those are the three questions that I want you to focus on and answer and type up one per group in the Google Classroom. Questions for any of these questions or any of the other parts? All right, so go ahead, break into your groups, okay? I'm gonna be around to check you guys, I'm gonna check you guys out, see how the videos are coming along. All right, I'm gonna kinda Go around and we'll see, uh, take a look at what you have done. All right, so go grab a computer and go where you need to go to get this done. Remember, guys, Friday. It's all due Friday. I change it to Friday. Give you guys more time because of the test. All right. Is the lab in luck? Um, you might be able to cut through. Goes out case. Oh, also, so, so you guys are really good. Um, I think you just need to film one. Okay. All right. What about the rest of you guys? Guys, did we finish? Did you guys finish? Ah. Uh, uh,
Alright, well, I'm gonna go to the lab then, guys. Okay, I'm gonna rub on it. Oh, okay.